y'all and welcome back to a, a brand new video here on my channel. Today we are going to be doing a little bit of yard work. I just had some random things that I wanted to get done and I just decided to pick up the camera and take y'all along with me. I'm starting off by trimming these bushes we have on our front yard. I have tried my best to keep these trimmed so they don't get out of hand. And another thing I wanted to note, these bushes that are light green in color, they grow so fast. I actually trimmed these not too long ago and you can already see how much they have already grown. We've had a lot of rain here and there recently, which probably contributed to them growing so fast already. But honestly, if I don't stay on top of those bushes, they get out of hand fast. We didn't end up getting any mulch this year for our front yard because one, it was just out of our price range this year. And um, two, I had other projects that I wanted to accomplish with the patio makeover being one of them. And a lot of my money that I wanted to spend on our yard actually went to that patio makeover. And we've had some really great nights out on that patio and I just love doing yard work I love being out here and being outdoors and doing all of the things it actually was not that hot here this day you will see me in a couple different outfits just because I wasn't able to do everything I wanted to do in one day but this day actually wasn't that bad there was a little bit of a breeze and I was in shorts and it was just perfect for me so I was out here getting her done <laughs> I know they make the electric hedgers where you can just trim whatever you need to trim as far as hedges and shrubs and all of that. I don't own one of those. I wish I did, but if you are trimming bushes the way I am right here, I do recommend wearing gloves. I was just lazy and didn't feel like <laughs> grabbing any gloves here, but I do recommend wearing gloves, especially if you are trimming a lot to like I am right here. Also, our front porch steps are horrible, just absolutely horrible, absolutely horrible, horrible. We, <laughs> hard for me to talk today, we don't use those front porch steps and I'm kind of glad we don't because you can see the two steps already just fell apart. There were a lot of the vines growing all over it though. So I did go ahead and clean around it even though we don't use it. But I mean, I'm out here doing yard work. I might as well just do it anyway. But anyway, I am so grateful that you guys are here and I hope you enjoy this video. Inside my mind, steep in the afterlight Watch you watching the colors rise Summer twilight skies on fire Never wishing I was somewhere else Held on to you like Loctite Getting through it when it hurt like hell Feels like the only thing you've done right It's a star, it's a light, it's a signal fire It's the sound of your voice cutting through the night it's a song, it's a note, it's a quiet sigh Keeps me dancing through the static, everything's alright this bush right here was thicker than the other ones for some reason and I was trying to figure out why because it was a little odd to me but then I was like oh wait it's planted in front of the bathroom there and there's actually a line that runs from the pump under the house to the bathroom so I was thinking maybe that ground somehow or another is more fertile than the rest of the ground there in the front yard. I don't know. But here's a more close-up of our front porch here. It is really is in really bad shape. And I was sitting here pulling these vines off. And a part of the porch actually came off with it. <laughs> I was like, oh well. <laughs> this thing is literally falling apart, y'all. I think we were born for it. I think we were born for it. Hey, I think we were born for it. Moved a lot when I was a kid Hear your footsteps run to the door On the corner where you live Never wishing I was someone else We let it all go at midnight Looking at the stars to find ourselves Full of life inspired at the same time 
It's a star, it's a light, it's a signal fire. It's the sound of your voice cutting through the night. This is about the only thing I did out here in the front yard, just trimming all of these bushes. And I think it's so sweet that Snippy stays by my side everywhere I go. He's like my fourth child. No kidding, y'all. He is literally by my side. <laughs> He's literally by my side like all the time y'all and you know people always say you never have any privacy like your privacy is gone after you have kids. That is true because even though the kids might not be with me they're like watching a movie or something in the living room and I have to use the bathroom. Snoopy's by my side and he freaks out if he's not by my side which I mean that I guess that's how it should be when they're a dog, but y'all, literally no privacy. Even if I don't have the girls by my side when I'm using the bathroom, he's by my side in the bathroom. <laughs> it's a song, it's a note, it's reflected light. Keeps us dancing through the static and I hear you sigh. Said I think we were born for it. I think we were born You grow into someone you're proud of. Hope you get to hold all you deserve. Your life I'll never forget the sound of. I think we were born for this. I think we were. I wanted to kind of prune our rose bushes, but I just left them alone because the kind of clippers I have just aren't made to prune those rose bushes and it's a little difficult to cut those limbs off with the cut those kind of clippers and I don't own the right pair of clippers for those rose bushes so I didn't end up touching those. Anyway, I am going to try and tidy up around our patio. This was actually after Hurricane Helene came through and I had a lot of things that had blew over. The wind actually pushed that entire couch forward and so that was just insane y'all. I know we didn't get hit as bad as others did and I'm very thankful for that and my heart goes out to all of those families who are facing tragedy and repercussions from that storm and I also heard that there is another hurricane out there now that is about to be hitting Florida again and it looks like it's going to be a bigger storm than Hurricane Helene and y'all just be safe be careful out there. Even though we don't personally live in Florida my heart just feels so heavy for everyone who is facing all of that and who are living in Florida is just very heavy on my heart and now is the time for all of us to come together as a family and help those in need and now is the time to lift prayers up for anyone who is affected by these storms <music>
I don't know what this weed was that was all around our patio, but it was literally everywhere. A part of the reason why our patio is like this now is because we have not been able to cut our grass and our yard pretty much all summer except for maybe one or two times. And anytime we do cut our grass, I do come out here to the patio just to kind of freshen it up. But since we haven't been able to cut our grass, honestly, I've not been out here that much. And this is why it looks this way. And although I've spent a lot of my attention and time on projects inside the house, I always remember that the outside of your house needs attention too. So I do like to come out here and do as much yard work as I can, but it has been a little hot here recently and it's just now starting to feel like fall. So I really don't prefer doing yard work out in the heat, but yard work is definitely something I do not mind doing. Although I do prefer it being not as hot as it has been outside when I do yard work. But anyway, I am trying my best to get all of the weeds out here now the best that I can. You never know what kind of surprises you're going to run into outside. <laughs> I picked up this mulch bag that we had spared whenever we did the patio makeover and there were black widows underneath the mulch bag and that's something to be mindful for if you haven't moved things in a while. Spiders do find homes and this was one of their homes but I managed to kill all the spiders. Spiders and snakes. I just can't deal with those y'all. I I, when I see a spider, I have to kill it. Also, I had a, a hornet wasp nest right there where I was just at in the corner of the shop. And I didn't even see it and it scared me, y'all. I literally ran away because I was, I was so close to it. There were probably 20 hornets in that nest and I didn't even see it. And I've been working around it this entire time. I'm actually shocked I didn't get bit by one of them. But I did tell Michael about it and he was able to take care of it. But y'all, literally, I always seem to run into some kind of surprise every time I'm out here working. It never fails. But I'm going to keep working on these weeds. I actually came to a stopping point because it was getting kind of late and the mosquitoes were coming out and they were, <laughs> they saw all you can eat buffet. So I was like, well, I'm going to have to pick this up the next day. And that's what I did. So I did have to stop and then come back to it the next day.
All right, y'all. So here is the next day. I'm just getting up all of these weeds. I actually called my dad because I forgot that if y'all remember last time that y'all saw me out here working, I kind of broke the battery we had for our electric blower. So I realized I wasn't able to blow off our patio. So I called my dad. I was like, hey, can I borrow your blower so I can um, blow our patio off really quickly? And he's like, yeah. So thankfully, I was able to borrow his so I could get our patio blowed off because it has been a long time since I've done that. Y'all see me finding random things here. <laughs> a pair of scissors, a cup. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Now that I have the patio blew off, I picked up all of these random items and put them back in the shed. And I also decided to just kind of spend a few minutes, just kind of um, pick some things up in here because it was getting a little out of hand and it's been a minute since I've been in the shed. Um, we actually had my sister's baby shower this past weekend and that was super exciting. She's actually went through a lot of my baby items and clothes, so I've been able to declutter a lot of those items out of here that I've kept all of those years, so that was nice too. There's a lot of other things that I do need to, de to declutter in here. I just haven't had a chance to, but I am sure I will get to it eventually. I can see you down again, falling to the ground again. I feel you. Try to fight it on you. I'll help you light your fire. I'll take your hand, raise you up higher. You can dance. That is going to be all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and hopefully you got some motivation. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye guys. You can